Um, I'd like to also um, talk about the train horn rule. Um, I promised one of my colleagues who's not on this committee that has strong feelings about this, Senator Bennett from Colorado, that I would inquire about this. Um, I know that there is a workaround for communities, for quiet zones, but um, can you talk a little bit about the flexibility on those workarounds and whether or not we have embraced sufficient flexibility where we obviously are protecting safety, but obviously the horn thing is a huge problem yeah. for many communities um, that are quote unquote bedroom communities um, and what is being required for, of them in terms of a workaround, I think in some instances may be slightly too onerous, but I'm certainly willing and open to hear your views on it. Yeah, no, thank you for that question because it's a great one. And as I said at the opening, I, you know, uh, I'd like to remind you, I'm a former mayor of what was a railroad community, two major rail yards, five railroads slicing through town. And so, you know, I lived both as a citizen as well as a municipal leader uh, you know, these challenges on a, uh, on a daily basis. Um, we are open to the utmost, highest level of flexibility, provided that an equivalent level of safety can be achieved. And that's the goal. That's all we need is that good science be applied to show that whatever creative approach a community is choosing to, to use will generate an equivalent or superior level of safety. Uh, there's no question, if you take a look at the statistics, that the, uh, the whistleblower regulation has worked, you know, at how significantly grade crossing accidents have come down since uh, my agency implemented that regulation about a decade ago. And so, uh, you know, we're here today talking about uh, a tragic uh, uh, grade crossing accident in Baltimore. And so we need to make sure that you bet will provide flexibility. Our goal is to be performance-based in our approach to safety. What we care about is the outcome, not telling you that you must do it this one and only way. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr.